Hi friends, welcome back to Whiskey and Wit. I'm excited for today's Fast Friday tutorial because I have jumped on the gnome bandwagon and we are making these gnome pillows, so stay tuned. Okay, so to make your gnome, you're gonna start with these supplies and a majority, like 90%, came from Walmart. So I grabbed one of these Mainstay Standard Queen huge pillows. This was like $3.50, I believe. Um, then I also grabbed one of these 25 cent sheets of felt in cream for his nose. And then I grabbed two different colors of faux fur back in the craft section at Hobby Lobby. I've got one yard of this Waverly fabric. You can use any of the fabric, but I was trying to grab everything at Walmart and there wasn't an attendance, so just grabbed that and ran. <laughs> I got two of these for his hat so it's the black and white buffalo check and these are also from walmart you can use any fabric that you want for the hat and then also a glue gun so let's get started first step is to create your base for your gnome and so we're going to start with the larger one first what i did is i opened up my piece of faux fur and I went through and just measured it from the outside of the fabric to where I wanted to cut it. And I just gave myself roughly about a half an inch on each side to a lot for the seam. But you want the beard to kind of go around the side. So I did that twice. And then also with it laying on there, I measured enough to put the hat on. But I didn't want a ton of extra fabric. So I measured both of those like that. I really just eyeballed this. So if you're big into measurements, this isn't a project that I'm gonna give you that um, but usually with this kind of stuff especially if you're covering it with fur you can wing it so then I just went ahead and rounded the edges of the fabric I put the two um, outside edges together so on the inside and then I just went through and hot glued like I was creating a pillow so just give yourself a strip of hot glue on the outside if you have a sewing machine or like to hand sew you can definitely do that here but I don't have either of those and I don't have the patience to hand sew this so glue gunning it is Once you get your glue or all around the outside, let it sit for a couple minutes and then flip it inside out and then refresh any of the seams that you need to. Then I just went ahead and cut open that pillow from Walmart and started stuffing it. Now I've heard from you guys every time I make DIY pillows that I should use this method. So I wanted to share it in a video to share that tip with all of you. So you don't need polyfill. You can do this $3 pillow from Walmart and call it a day. So then once I made sure that it was stuffed to the level that would make sense for the beard length I wanted, then I just basically hot glued the bottom like a present so it would sit up. And then I moved on to the nose. So I cut the sheet of felt in half and then I cut it in half again to two oblong ovals um, just so I had it for the second one. I didn't end up using it, but that's what I was thinking at the time. And then I just went through with my hot glue gun and added glue kind of really just went about this um, winging it, <laughs> but I went through and just wanted to stick up all the sides. And then as everything was starting to come together, I kind of did little pleats just so then that way I got the round nose. Then the last step is to create your hat. So I just used my pillow to measure how big I wanted the hat. And then I just free handed a long triangle. Then same thing you did with the pillow, you're gonna put the two outside edges on the inside. So when you flip it, it will be the right side out. Did the strips of glue on the outside. And then once I made it through everything there, except for the bottom, I left that open. Um, then I went through and flipped it. Now with this, I went a little too quick, so some of my seams popped, so I had to go back through and refresh them, but honestly, it's not the end of the world. So if you move too quick and it pops out, don't worry, you can definitely um, just stick it back in there and glue it. So then I added a little bit of stuffing to the hat to get it to sit up the way that I wanted to, and then I went ahead and stuffed the hat onto my pillow. Once I got it all situated, I took my glue gun and glued the hat to the gray pillow base, just so then that way it stayed in place. You could also glue the fur on first and glue the hat over the fur, but I wanted my hat to be glued to the fabric, not to the faux fur. So once that hat was on there, I went through and added a ton of glue and stuck the whole sheet of the faux fur. 
Now I just went ahead and trimmed each side so you could kind of still see the body, but you could have left it full. The nice thing with these gnomes is you could literally do it however you want. Um, and then finally, I just added that large nose. I think this one looks very whimsical, very cartoony, and it would look perfect in a kid's room or just on a bed or here like I have it in a chair. So then when I went to make the second one, I wanted something a little different, so I ended up scrapping that first idea. I cut some more off and created kind of two big ovals. Uh, my goal originally was to do kind of a really short, kind of wide one, but I didn't think that all the way through with the first. So I ended up um, stuffing it, and then um, with this one, I just went ahead and closed it like I would have closed a pillow, so just pitched the ends together. And then what I realized is I just needed to go with half a sheet of the faux fur. I followed the same process with the fur, with the hat. This is just some leftover um, black and white buffalo check that I had left over from Joann's from a fall project. And then I didn't end up stuffing this hat just so it would kind of slouch over. Um, and then for this one, I used a ping pong ball that was painted in kind of a flesh color. Um, and I got that idea from Shannon over at the Daily DIYer because I recreated some of the gnomes that she made and I think it just looks super cute. So now I've got two different kinds of gnomes, the two different colors. The other one I love because I could leave up year round. It turned out so good. I love these and I can't wait to figure out where I'm going to decorate them. So be sure to check out my full Christmas playlist if you are decorating now and need some inspiration. And also be sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!